Tonight, there are calls for Missouri's House Speaker to resign. Dean Plocker is accused of filing false expense reports with the state legislature. Thanks for being with us. I'm Mike Bush. I'm Kelly Jackson. Missouri law allows politicians to use their campaign accounts to pay for travel expenses or they can seek reimbursement from the state, but they can't do both. Our political editor, Mark Maxwell, has been pressing the speaker to explain what happened. Kelly and Mike, Republican House Speaker Dean Plocker says he's corrected those false expense reports, passing them off as administrative errors. But they were errors that landed at least $4,000 in taxpayer money in his pockets. He's now in the process of paying that money back to Missouri while he runs to become the next lieutenant governor. And I will keep the secrets of the House. House Speaker Dean Plocker was not available for an interview, but as he faces fresh scrutiny for filing false expense reports, a former state senator is emerging to challenge him in a Republican primary. We need to restore integrity and transparency to Jefferson City government, so it's very likely you'll be seeing me announcing for lieutenant governor the next few weeks. Bob Onder says he's jumping in to take on Plocker after the Missouri Independent reported the speaker falsely claimed reimbursements on travel expenses like a $1,200 plane ticket to Hawaii. It's amazing to see uh, the Speaker of the House, Dean Plocker, over nine occasions, over four or five years, only paying back money after he got caught, seeing him essentially stealing the money of the people of the state of Missouri. Plocker says in a statement posted online, we self-reported and immediately corrected the administrative errors. His campaign says he's paid back nearly $4,000 in false expense reports so far. I believe he's guilty of stealing the public's money, of basically embezzlement, and I think for the good of the district, the good of the state, I think he should resign. Governor, is it enough that Speaker Plocker has said he would correct his false expense reports, or has he lost the public trust? Should he resign? Well, I, I don't know all the details other than what I'm reading from you guys, but he needs to pay it back. I mean, if he if he's owes the money, he needs to pay it back, and he needs to get it straight. He needs to tell what happened, and that's the only thing you can do is just tell the truth and do what's right after that. So I, I don't know where that ends or where it goes, but right now what I do know is it sounds like he's paying it back, what I do know, and he needs to figure out if he's going to have the trust of the people. I don't know yet. I think it's too early to be able to tell that. A House, a House Ethics Commission is convening Friday and could open an investigation or begin to examine this more closely. We offered Plocker that chance to sit down and explain what happened as Governor Parson called for. His political rivals, including Republican Secretary of State Jay Ashcroft and Attorney General Candidate Will Scharf, have both said he should face investigation, explain himself, or resign. Mark, thanks.